But then, but then again, it's uh, it's a small town, so maybe everyone knows everyone. That I I don't know. I don't really know. But yeah, anyway, we can we can sign up on sign up in the Mages Guild up around here, and then we can start doing major stuff. And here are basically here's the bookseller. We might actually want to visit this house at well this uh, this shop at some points. Here's the Fighter's Guild, and here's an Armorer, and the Major's Guild is right here. So let's uh, let's go and sign up. Make it quick, Outlander. But oh, quite the welcome. I'm I'm your newest member, and uh, fine. I want to join. Uh, what is this Major's oath? For many duties assigned to you, learn. Grow strong. Always share your knowledge freely. Never strike or steal from another. Yeah. This with this looks good. And thus we became a member of Major's Guild. And we are now the rank associates. So, uh, how about duties? We can do all kinds of interesting things here, can't we? Okay, so you don't have anything. So we need to speak to Azira. Okay, who's this Azira then? Uh, well, nothing here. Apparently I need to go find this Azira. So yes, this is the guild hall. Well, you are Sorry, Galbadir. Sanger. My time is short, so get on with it. Uh, okay, fine. I'll, le I'll, I'll let you do whatever you do. So let's go find this Ajira and maybe 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 they can have some uh, duties for me so we can complete a couple of quest uh, quests and then we can advance and become even stronger in the field of magics. What assistance do you need? Uh I don't think I need anything. This is can a fairly small place. Alone? Well, yes, just stop talking to me and everything will be so much better. Oh, here's Ajira. Yes, uh, duties. How about duties? Okay. Uh, before. Okay, so you. So you need to study mushrooms to become a journeyman. Okay, and I guess you're going to send me to find some mushrooms. Luminous Rasula, Violet Caprinus, Bungler Spain, and Hyphophasia. And these are all on the bitter coast. The easiest way, way is to go south uh, along the river Odai until you see a wooden bridge across the river. Get out of, uh, get out of the river there. Uh, out of the river. Do I need to like be in the river, or can I just follow it? Uh, find a path west over the hills. Okay, I guess that's uh, that's all good. So we will definitely do that. But uh, I think I'm going to... I'm probably going to sleep because it's like 6... Actually it's 6 a.m. It's actually the best possible time to get... Uh, to go out there to do stuff. So let's actually head out. I don't really have all that much like stuff. What's in here? I uh, restore magicka. Okay, so this is the supply chest for the Mages Guild, and this is actually full of all kinds of interesting things. So we can actually we have some cure, common diseases, divine intervention. I think this is like a scroll that you can read, and then you will uh, you will just be teleported. So that's kind of like your get out of jail card. And some restored Magicka potions, always useful because uh, in in Morrowind Magicka doesn't actually oh, shut up. Magicka doesn't actually recharge. Yeah, uh, you need to either sleep or drink Magicka potions. I would also need some armor because currently I am this weak character with only like clothes and not that's not necessarily enough. So let's see this armor and see if we can actually, you know use some of this stuff. 
Like iron helmets and stuff if like I that. That would help. I will, but don't take too much time. Fine. I, I, I'm s seriously. I'm surprised you can sell anything here. Okay, so what kind of stuff do we have? We have a uh, cheating, and then we have bone mold. Okay. I only have like 300 gold though, so we need to basically consider that. Uh, we should also, before we do any of this, we should check our... So our medium armor is our minor skill, so we we want to focus on medium armor. So we don't want to go heavy, we don't want to go light, we want to go medium. And that might actually be a slight problem. I mean, this bone mold stuff is medium armor, and I believe that's one of the cheapest medium armor things ever. Yeah, heavy, uh, iron stuff is apparently heavy. And this stuff costs a lot. But we might be able to get like a... Actually, we cannot get even the chest piece. Yeah, all of this stuff costs way too much. Just way, way too much. So I think we we just need to survive on our own for now, of course. We could take this, but it's maybe not the best idea. I don't really want to go to jail for nothing. And what is this? This is an outfitter. Well, that would be just clothes. Might as well... Um, yeah, might as well just go with whatever I have right now. Maybe the... Maybe the Mage's Guild will, like, give me some additional clothes that I can actually use. Or maybe I can find something to actually, like, um, you know, kill. But anyway, I'm going to equip, uh, actually Fireball is cheaper, so I can press R to bring up my magic. And that way we can start doing the killing. So let's go and find these mushrooms. So we need to just go down this river, and I'm actually jumping around just to get some, ex uh, some extra acrobatic skills. It's also going to use a lot of my stamina, so yeah, that's maybe not the best idea ever. Your stamina also determines a lot of things, like uh, your chance to hit something. So that would probably be... and... okay, so we found our first ever beast. So this is... whatever. Whoa! Also, that's something. We might want to check that out. So this is a scrib. Oh! Well, apparently the scribs are more dangerous than I thought. They look pretty harmless, but apparently they can paralyze me. But yeah, if I had the dagger, I probably would have just uh, kind of... Well, I wouldn't have necessarily died, but I would have had it much worse than I did. Let's go kill this other scrib, and then let's make sure that we check what's in there. Stab. And there we go. Actually, we, we should probably dispose these corpses. So we can get rid of them. And they won't just, you know, fill the place up entirely. So let's go and check this place. This looks like a cave entrance of sorts. Some of these places are probably going to be quite dangerous for us, so we might have to just bail out. But let's uh, let's at least check. So what is this? This is Theris' ancestral tomb. Okay, and uh, and that's trapped. That, I don't like the sound of that, but I guess we're going to trigger it. Okay, and that paralyzed us. But luckily, it didn't open the door, so I don't think anyone is going to attack me. And there we go. We can move again. Okay, let's check. I don't really see anything quite yet, but I do hear weird sounds. 
We might have to prepare to run. I hear sounds everywhere. Oh, what? What is this? Okay, we're going to run. Your weapon has no effects. Okay, fine. I'm going to run. Yeah. Ghosts and zooms. They go together very well. In fact, they go together so well that we just encountered some. And apparently our weapon was completely useless at them. Um, well, I... I guess I could have used magic, but I don't really want to waste that stuff right now. Because magic is limited and because restorations, uh, those uh, restore uh, magicka potions are so really, really expensive, I'm actually going to use it only as the, you know, the uh, abs. Uh, uh, if only if it's like very, 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 very bad to not do so. It's kind of my last measure. What are you guys? We have a cork bulb here. Uh, let me pass. Okay, and uh, these are. I can help. I will, but don't take too much time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these are miners in a shulk egg mine. Apparently, taking a break. And a miner's pick. Okay, I'm going to just leave you alone. I have no reason to mess with miners either. So here's the bridge. Okay. So he said to go... Where? West? He said, he said to go west, didn't he? So I guess this is the way we're supposed to go then. I, I mean, I, I don't really want to go over the mountain here, but I do assume that this is the way to go. Our athletics just leveled up. That's uh, due to running. And it's actually good. Means we can run a bit faster, I think. Okay. So this is sort of supposed to be the area that we need to, like, explore. South and see a bridge. When when I pass the bridge, I should look for a way over the hills to the west. So basically, we did more or less just that. So let's go and see if we can find these luminous Rasula, violet Caprinus, and Bungler's Bane, and Hyphophagia. And if anyone wants to stop me, I'm going to be using my magic immediately. No, I, I want none of this wildlife to stop me. Yeah, you just stay calm and I will be away faster than you can imagine. So, these look like mushrooms. What mushrooms are these? Well, that's the Violet Caprinus, so that's that's the that's the first one out of the way. That's a draggle tail. Not what I'm looking for, no. More Violet Caprinus. We just need one of each. We don't need more than that. And do you have anything? No. But those there look like mushrooms. Oh, Luminous Rasula. That's exactly what I needed. I'll take both. And, uh, Hyphophagia. Very nice. Um, uh, so I have Luminous Rasula, uh, Violet Caprinus, Hyphophagia, and now I need Bungler's Bane. So one more, one more, uh, mushroom, and I am done. We just need to figure out where that would be. Those are mushrooms there. Are they the right kind? No, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. 
Stop. A Guama Forager. Well, whatever you were, you just got decimated. Uh, Luminous Shula and Copranus. Don't need that stuff, I already have plenty. Okay, what else? Okay, that looks kinda nasty there. Maybe I can just pick up this stuff if this is not that straggle tail. Not what I needed. Hopefully that guy doesn't decide to attack me. At least I can spot it very easily because when when these guys start attacking me, the music changes. Okay, talking about music changing. I think we found one of them and he is slightly stuck. Oh, we actually have more than one? Okay, luckily I have magic. So I need to get on top of this rock here. And we can start casting magic. So yeah, these, uh, these guys don't seem to be too smart. They don't really have the smarts. Maybe I can. S oh, that guy not. That guy is not uh, all that uh, damaged yet. But this guy I should be able to handle. Nice. Hound meets restore fatigue. Well, I suppose I could take some of this. Well, uh, let's uh, dispose of the corpses. So these were actually. Well, they were actually easier than they looked. Maybe they sort of rely on their nasty looks more than mad skills. That's basically me in the school. Anyway, we are completely out of magicka. Luckily, we have some restoration potions, so if we do need more, we have it. Now we just need to figure out where this final stupid bungler's pain is. I don't. I, I can't really say that the Mages Guild seems all that uh, you know glamorous. I mean, after all, we are still looking for like mushrooms. So that's a rat. Let's be careful of the rat because I currently have very little uh, fatigue or stamina. And because I have very little stamina, it means I can barely hit anything. So we want to avoid combat when this, uh, when the uh, the green meter is super low. There is some sort of a uh, like uh, some sort of an equation in the combat. The melee combat is actually based heavily on random number generation. And your chance to hit is actually one of those numbers. And if you if you like have low uh, low stamina or low fatigue, you actually your chance of hitting anything with either magic or uh, like swords is actually lowered significantly. Oh, here's the bungler's pen. Uh, no. There's nothing in it! Who stole the bungler's pen? Okay, and that's another one of those stupid worms. Well, at least now we know what bungler's pen looks like. So now we can... Now it should be easier for us to find more. That's another one of those worms. And now it's attacking. How dare you! Ouch! How dare you attack me like that? And that's uh, that looks like a rat, maybe. So bungler's pain, bungler's pain. So at least we know that it grows in the side of a a tree. So now we know where to look for it. I think there was a tree around 
here. Which had some of those fungi. Okay, those guys look a little bit more menacing. We might not want to go too far to the swamps. Just far enough. Okay, I think that tree there has some... Okay, could this be... No, this is just hyphophagia. Maybe the other side? Ah, stupid rats. Yeah, these are not particularly dangerous enemies. They are more on the annoying side. Okay, let's uh, let's head back and let's look at some of the trees that we already passed a little bit more carefully. Because there it's very likely that we actually passed some of the uh, bungler spain because I was looking for a sort of a regular looking mushroom and it's actually it's this sort of a mushroom that grows on the side of a tree. That's something that I wasn't prepared for. Where am I actually? We have actually explored quite a bit of this. And we still, like, as you can see, this is how big this sort of a... <laughs> this sort of an area is. And this is how much we have it. So this is, uh, this is actually a pretty big game. It's so big, in fact, that finding Bungler's pain is basically impossible. So, this tree, do you have what I need? Yes! We finally have the Bungler's pain, so I'm going to head back to... Oh, wait, well, no, okay, now the game is giving me plenty of Bungler's pain. So, I'll head back to Bomora, and then we'll, we'll, we will then wrap this quest up. And we're back in Balmora. So let's just head to Mage's Guild Don't and... Get I'm actually moving all the time, you, you stopped me. So let's see if we have some kind of a reward for these mushrooms. If we don't, we are just going to eat the mushrooms and hope that we get a reward that way. So Ajira, Ajira, Ajira. Yes, I have the mushrooms. Yes, they are all here. Okay, and we may we got some po potions. So we, of course, that's removed. But we got some restore health potions. So very good. Thank you, Ajira. Do you have any other duties? So you made a bet with Galbadir. Interesting. Uh, why do you want to give a fake soul gem to Galbadir? Okay, well, um... Okay, I guess this guild isn't as, uh, you know, as friendly... Well... Okay. Easy. But yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap things up here for now. So we have our new duty for Ajira, and we just returned his um, silly mushrooms. And next, we are going to My apparently put a limited. we're going to put a soul gem, a fake soul gem, into this guy's uh, desk. So we're going to it's going to be interesting. So anyway, I'll save this here, and we will see in future videos.